Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, Brit Reacts. And today we are reacting to Norm Macdonald accidentally ordering a... an adult film. Let's see what he has to say. That happens wherever you go, right? Yeah, everybody yells. Actually, like when I uh, uh, started doing comedy, mm -hmm. I uh, would go on stage and... and uh, uh, I was uh, doing it for a couple of years, and then I'd go on stage sometimes and people would go, Norm, Norm! And uh, I thought I was catching on, but it was from Cheers, right? <laughs> so they like, were just excited about the show Cheers? Yeah. So oh. like more, I, I don't guess. get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. That's there. a sad thing to happen to you. Yeah. All right, well, happier things. You're, uh, what are you? You're on, uh... You're on your fourth show of the season, Saturday Night Live. Live yeah. you the, and you got Quentin Tarantino this week. Yeah, that's Smashing really Pumpkins. Cool. That's a cool show. That's really cool. You gotta be excited. I didn't understand that Norm Norm Cheers thing. I know the show Cheers. I mean, like I know they exist. <laughs> um, that's that's about it. Get to the story, Norm. <laughs> All right, let's see what they're saying about Saturday Night Live. Excited about that? Yeah, Quentin Tarantino is like so cool, you know? And, yeah, and, truly. Uh, plus, in the back of your head, you think maybe he'll put you in one of his movies? Come on. <laughs> it's never really? gonna happen. But no. That's fair. But uh, he's a great writer, too, you know, and really cool. And, uh, you know, Pulp Fiction was like my favorite movie. I've seen it like a hundred times. Uh -huh. And it was, on, I thought, I, I was, it was, I was on pay per view. It's on pay per view this Yeah, month. that's right. The show. Oh, remember there. pay per view? So the other night, like, I, I, I ordered it, you know, I called in and ordered it. And then I, I got the you wrong one, and it was that... I'm sorry. Let's just have a moment of silence for how much technology has advanced. I don't think anyone watching this is of any generation younger than myself. But if so, hello, how are you? Pull up a chair. Let's talk about it. Once upon a time... It's so crazy because yesterday my daughter was reading a book for school, and um, it mentioned putting money in the telephone. And she was she literally stopped, and she was like, putting money in the telephone. And I was like... Oh, how far removed, child. So I explained to her, a pay phone. Um, but do y'all remember the days where you used to have to call, dial a phone number to pick the movie that you wanted to order and watch? And think about where we are now. That is so, like, a movie is at the push of a button and you can literally stream it. Wild times. Wild times times we are living in we are truly in the future guys that doesn't bug anybody out. i think about that quite often and it just bugs me out like <laughs> i have an electric car and it bugs me out like i'm bugged out that i plug my car up if y'all could have seen the hoopty i used to drive in high school listen it's wild it's wild it's wild all right norm sorry I called in and ordered it and then I, I got the wrong one and it was that porno one it was pump friction you know that one? Oh, man. Have you seen that one? No. <laughs> I mean, friction. no. I don't know what you're talking about. Friction. It, 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 was, it was all right. Have you seen Wait, that one? It was okay? <laughs> yeah, they're different movies. I mean, you know. <laughs> really? Like, Pulp Fiction is kind of a, you know, a gritty urban fable with mm -hmm. strong characters and yeah. acting. And, you know, Pump Friction is more... <laughs> It's I'm dying. Graphic sex. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I could see how they're different. We don't yeah. need an explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Apples and oranges. You can't compare them. You know, they're both. So good. why would you want to? Yeah. But I called the cable company and, and uh, <laughs> an hour later and complained. <laughs> About an hour out. later. <laughs> good. That's good. Sex is everywhere, though. You can't. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. You can't. This man was really a sight to see. My God, I feel like every video I watch, he gets handsomer and handsomer. I said it. It's a word because I said it. Um, like, I feel like I'm not unintentionally watching him age backwards. And what a, be I mean, straightest teeth I've ever seen. Just great bone structure. Like, what a looker. I can't get over it. All right. That's funny, though. That is funny. I don't know how true it is because, you know, I can't tell whether he's ever lying or not. Um, call me gullible. It's fine. But it's a funny story. Prump friction. Is that what he said? Or plump friction? Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, there you go, there you go. Good. 
That's good. Sex is everywhere, though. You can't, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. You can't I love porn. It. Do you guys watch a lot of pornos? <laughs> There you go. There you okay. go. That's what our demographic studies show <laughs> to find out who's watching. Our fans love porno. That's what we know about this show. I always thought they should have, like, a, you know how they have that Dick Clark, Ed McMahon, like, blooper shows? The blooper you know? show, yeah. They should have those. Oh, for I've never pornos, heard of that. You know, because. <laughs> Wait, do I need to be looking at this show? Do I need to write this down? The what? Like, blooper shows? The blooper you know? show, yeah. They should have, like, a, you know how they have that Dick Clark, Ed McMahon. Like Dick the blooper Clark shows. and the blooper Ed show, McMahon yeah. blooper they have those show? For pornos, you know, that sounds because... entertaining. <laughs> Can I react to those, y'all? They make mistakes on the set and everything. Uh -huh. You know, it'd be funny to see, you know, like the girl going, uh, you know, Harry, you have a huge clock. <laughs> you know, I just What's mess happening? up their lines. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? What is happening? <laughs> Go back to Ed and Dick. <laughs> I don't know. That's you don't know name. what you're doing. You're just riffing here. You don't know. <laughs> you yeah. Got, you but, got, uh, yeah. I like actually, you know, graphic sex better than, you know what bugs me is like. <laughs> oh, we're going there. You know, this is something else I've thought about in life. Let me know if you've thought about it. But like, for instance, we're talking about Dick Clark here. At what point did we decide the name Richard should be shortened to Dick and why? And then when did we decide that Dick was going to become an obscenity? in reference to a body part. Like, how did that all work out? Was it someone named Richard that pissed someone off and, you know, thus the ball rolled down the, the ski slope? Is that a saying? I, I don't know, I just made it up. But, like, I just, sometimes I think about that. Like, how did we get here? How did we get here from Richard to Dick to the rest of it? If you happen to have the answer, please leave it in the comments down below. Thank you. Uh -huh. like, yeah. I like pornos and stuff, but I, I don't like, what I don't like is like when they try to be cute, like they, they, they try to be cute. innuendo. And right. They, so they pretend like it's not about sex, but uh, all my life. You remember that show? I remember as a kid, Dating Game. Remember that show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a game show, but you know, it was all about, everything was sex, you know, it was all dirty. And, uh, really? You know that show, right? Everything had a double meaning. Everything on that had show. a double meaning, yeah. you know. And so the girls would ask, and then they get these guys that were like, "Good lord, you know, I don't know where they find these guys." And get a beautiful girl, and then these three, uh, you know, serial killer type guys. You know, <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. And uh, you know, the girl would have to ask these questions that were all had double meanings. You know, like the girl would go, uh, "You know, uh, if uh, if I were a popsicle, what would you do to me?" You know, something like that. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, he's he's not wrong. I've I've seen clips of the dating or a show like the dating show maybe, but also on In Living Color they did a spoof and I reacted to it here. I get what he's saying now because I was kind of confused. I'm like, what? But if I had a popsicle, like, or if I was, a, I get it. If I was a popsicle, what would you do with me? Kind of thing. If uh, if I were a popsicle, what would you do to me? You know, something like that. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So then the guy would be like, the guy would be like, well, first I'd, uh, you know, uh, take your wrapper off, you know, if you know what I mean, uh -huh. you know, and then uh, I'd uh, grab a hold of your big sticks here? there, you know, if you know what I mean, uh -huh. and uh, you know, and then I'd, uh, I'd uh, press you against the counter so you're broken too, you know, if you know what I mean, and then uh -huh. I'd, you know, I put half you in the freezer till later, you know, and I'd be like, good lord, you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound like, that sounds like a crime. Oh, I miss those days in TV. <laughs> it's tough though, there's, you know, there's so much sex. I know you got a family, you got a, yeah. a kid, right? Yeah, I you got know? a beautiful little kid. How, how old is he? He's three, he's Aww. the greatest. Uh -huh. Look at how yeah. he lit up. Yeah, I got a beautiful little kid. I love when a dad like lights up about his kids. Look at that. In TV. <laughs> it's tough though, there's, you know, there's so much sex. I know you got a family, you got a, yeah. a kid, right? Yeah, I you got know? a beautiful little kid. How, how old Aww. is he? He's three, he's the greatest. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Is he like, uh, what, I mean, what, <laughs> let's just end there. <laughs> he's just a great, great kid. Yeah, he's, he's like three now. He's reaching the age where he's kind of, he's, uh, they reach that kind of cruel age, you know, mm -hmm. where it's like, uh, you know, Lord of the Flies or something, where you got to watch him. And uh, he, we got a, a dog, you know, a little dog. Yeah, uh, I know dogs, yeah. yeah. You know a little dog? <laughs> yes. We call him uh, uh, Doogie. When I was a kid, my dad, my parents named my dog Snoopy. Oh, really? Yeah, so I was completely embarrassed all the time. <laughs> like a, the hackiest name you can call your dog, yeah. you know? And people go, hey, what's your dog's name? Well, it's not, you know, 
<laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. so my, the point of this. He is a professional rambler. And as a professional rambler myself, it takes one to know one. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Like, I love him. Like, I would have loved to have sat at a table with this man and just listened to him go on and on and on about the most random topics. It's so enjoyable. It truly is so enjoyable. Is yes. <laughs> My kid uh -huh. is getting this cruel age, and you always got to watch him around the dog, you know, because he'll, uh, you know, and he lies, you know, like, you're, hey, hey, uh, what are you doing there? You shouldn't be uh, petting his eyeball like that. He doesn't like that. <laughs> petting you know, his eyeball is like, crazy. Oh, he likes that. You told me. I go, dogs can't talk. I'm not stupid. You that know? definitely yeah, sounds yeah. like a little boy and, uh, thing. No, he likes it, Dad. I can't even find the dog anymore because the kids always say, hey, hey where, where are you, Doogie? Where are you oh, playing with Dylan? Like where are you? you know, I can't find him anywhere, you know. Open the cupboard, dog's in there. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Not, not here. here. The terrible threes. Three nagers, I tell ya. Um, that was funny. It was all over the place, but it was funny. I maybe have a crush on Norm MacDonald from back in the day, but we don't have to talk about it. We don't we don't have to talk about it, you guys. We can we don't have to talk about it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I hope that you have the day that you deserve. Bye.